So at this point, I was going to be singing The Show Must Go On, but after 20 takes, I realised I can't sing at all. So my dream of you all saying, Steve, you should start a channel where you sing and cover songs, has gone. Oh. Anyway. Here we are, painting Freddie Mercury, lead singer from a band, little band, called Queen. Um, this is the band I grew up with mostly. Uh, my mum played them continuously, the uh, greatest hits, CDs especially, I can't even count how many times I've listened to that. Um, but, you know, it's a great album. Um, what was it? Boom, Freddie. Um, this is a concept that me and the person who commissioned this painting came up with. The idea was to have him, as you can see, those little bits shooting out, have him uh, disappearing um, into the show, into the lens flare, into the ether. His body sort of coming apart, kind of um, reminiscent of Avengers, but not with like the particle effect, more with like this lens flare, this explosion, this um, cosmic energy power type thing. Um, because of this look from the reference photo, this sort of this uh, proud but kind of sad look I felt he had, um, I thought this idea would be you know, bittersweet, a bit sad because, you know, he's not with us anymore. So the idea was to have him evaporating um, and disappearing and becoming part of the show because he's on stage becoming part of the light and that was the idea of it um so the painting in monotones again um didn't want to put color into this because i didn't want to take away from the lens of flare effect the um explosion um we've got one two three four four five five sh shades one two three four five five shades and a bit of black um these as normal were mixed up of white and black um, with a bit of blue in it, um, and then more white for the lighter shades, more dark for the darker shades, more black for the darker shades, um, and it is a combination of acrylic and emulsion paint, so I have the quality of the acrylic, but the matte of the emulsion, just to get a nice balance between the two. I find matte, uh, I find emulsion a bit too chalky, but I find acrylic way too um, glossy, so when you mix them together, they find a happy medium which is quite nice um i wish i could find a paint that actually was the happy medium but i i still haven't found one um and the amount of paint i get through um i can't go testing them all anyway freddie his face hard to paint because of the mustache which is a aspect which is so iconic with him and you know is there anybody else who's got a moustache that's as iconic? I don't think there is. The guy from Dukes of Hazzard, but I can't remember his name, so it yeah, must mean that Freddy's number one. Uh, the moustache automatically causes issues because of the shadow under the lip. Um, it, it causes... If I painted it each individual hair, it would look absolutely ridiculous. So instead of that, I've painted the impression of it, the, the, the shadow um, that is caused by the hair opposed to the hair itself, if that makes any sense. Um, and again, with the hair on the head, kind of the same... Uh, concept he's really nice there isn't he um i took out a lot of the detail from the chest he's got quite a hairy chest <laughs> um and then i did this sort of like these this swoosh this sort of um continuous line uh, if you look at like the top of the forehead um back where his hairline is and then follow that round it goes down through the jaw down the neck down into the chest and then it swoops back up on the vest back up and then goes back up into the flare off of his body which i thought was just a beautiful line a uh, sort of a narrative line to follow um on his you know on his on his uh how would you put it so sort of when you look at him you see the story so that's what i want to do i want your eye to follow there and i think it worked actually so i'm quite happy with that indeed the background um i did mess around with doing like little stars or like that sort of effect you see when you see the crowd if you just have blurry stars or blurry light um that didn't really work because it took away from Freddy, and that was the most important thing about this painting was Fred. Um, so what else can we talk about? Diddly 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 did did did. I don't know what else to talk about. What can we talk about? Posca. Oh right, okay. So we're going into the face here um, with the Posca pen. A uh, very very thin Posca pen. I think it's three um, one m. Uh, so I got a millimeter um, pen. And then going back in with a brush just to touch up everything, get everything nice and refined and uh, sharp because, as you know, my style is all about the sharp lines to curate the blending effect. I may start messing around with some blending. Uh, maybe I should try. Um, here I realized this chest was too busy, as I said earlier on, so I took a load out um, and then brought this white tone um, up and sorted out the shoulder because I wasn't happy with the shoulder. It was looking a bit... Um, too powerful, taking over too much of the painting. Um, and now we're going on in a minute to the next bit. Now the lyrics. Um, we decided to go for the show must go on lyrics. Um, the middle eight part especially. 
So I was going to write it in my own handwriting. And I thought, I wonder, because I did this with the John Lennon painting a few years back. I wonder if I can find the handwritten lyrics by Freddie. And I bloody found them. <laughs> uh, so here they are. This is the ones wrote by him. Uh, he's got really cool handwriting. Difficult to read, but everybody's handwriting is difficult to read. And um, what's really interesting, the middle eight bit um, is actually different in the ly original lyrics. So I thought, why don't we? There it is. Line there is actually... Um, I can fly forever, my friends, the show must go on. Uh, actually, he's not got the in it. Um, so I thought, let's actually have forever. Let's use the word forever because that really speaks and fits with the painting. So we decided to go with the original lyrics, if you like. Um, so I decided to uh, use like a carbon paper to be able to uh, get this in there and get it in Freddie's handwriting. Um, and that said, I can fly forever my friends the forever my friends just so beautiful i think um even though it's not really in the song and then the show must go on he's got a really cool s to the h i really love that and some cool little twirls on the o's um, and now we're going into the final stretch um i didn't like how that arm was looking too flat so i decided as well as having the body coming out into the black have the black coming into the body i used a angle finder there just to try to get the angles all roughly the same and the other side um from the very beginning, the first lines just were perfect. I didn't need to change anything, which is very weird. That's why I've not talked about that bit. I didn't put too much um, attention on his other arm, which has like a weird, I don't know what it is, like a metal garter on his arm, a garter arm, an arm garter. Um, so I didn't put too much into that. Um, and now we're going over the whole thing with black just to get it really deep, really um, consistent. Um, so the brush marks are consistent. That's something I've never talked about, different brush marks. Anyway, um, and that roughly is ready. Uh, going back in a bit more detail, painting the sides, and we are there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ladies and genitals, boys and girls, uh, this is Freddie Mercury. Um, the show must go on painting. I very, very happy with how he came out. Um, I love the expression on his face. Something that sometimes I work hours at, and this time it worked very well. Um, I love, love, love what we did with the uh, lyrics. And uh, the explosion is just beautiful. Really happy with it. Great little painting. Great fun painting. And uh, it's off to its new home in America. I hope it has a lovely life. <laughs> Thank you for watching uh, this video. Um, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.